Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you a general overview of Google Drawings. So Google Drawings gives you a canvas if you want, where you can put all sorts of images and icons and shapes and all sorts of things uh, to change the size of this canvas. Now this one's set to 512 by 512, uh, but you can do file, page setup, and there you can do custom and you can do it by it, 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 inches, centimeters, points, pixels, see 512 by 512, but you can change that. You can also click this little arrow at the very bottom of the screen to change your dimensions. I'll just do undo on that real quick, but you can do that. Uh, the magic of Google Drawings, well, a couple things. One, it defaults to a transparent background. Having a transparent background in an app for free is pretty nice. So that is nice. But if I right click, you have to right click for this. Uh, yes, there we go. We got background and you can now change that background to be any color you like. And again, I will undo. So that's really nice. There is this negative space here. You notice I put some directions here. There's a negative space to the left and to the right, which is really useful because you can put directions or even if you could, you could have a picture that inspires what goes on the actual canvas, whatever. And it doesn't, when you go to save the file, so file, uh, download, and then save as one of these four formats, even PDF, uh, it won't convey. So that's really nice. So having that negative space is very, very useful. The magic really of drawings is all in the insert menu because this is where you can insert your images, just like in docs or slides, you can insert a text box. I already have a text box right here off to the side. Uh, the shapes, so this is where you get your shapes. And so here, I'll just put in a little shape real quick. Like I'll put this cloud in there and there you go. You get this cloud. And then once you have it, you can start doing all sorts of things. Uh, you could change the fill color or even make the fill color a gradient or make it custom. And one of the customs is to do instead of radial, oh, well, that defaulted to radial, but you can do a linear and you can add, you know, you can add a stop. And even at that stop, you can change your color and do something totally different. Uh, look at this. So now it's just, yeah, you're doing, you can do all sorts of cool things. Also, just like you would see in slides, once you click any element like this, you'll see a format options button. So here I can give it a reflection. I can give it a drop shadow. Uh, all sorts of fun things that I can do. Uh, in fact, this drop shadow, let me just manipulate that and make it, uh, let's see, uh, change my distance. So yeah, you see in it there, it looks a little bit more shadowy, but then when I change the transparency, it becomes solid. Um, yeah, that's a really like, that's a heck of a shadow. It's really nice, really nice. Uh, and then of course, you know, you can just resize that and, and move it around and do all sorts of fun things uh, with the transparent background, which is nice. To get it to the center, I just need to use the grid lines there, drag it to my grid lines, now I'm centered. Really, really nice. So that's just an overview of some of the things you can do in Google Drawings. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.